What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here with a coronavirus update. This time we're going to be going to Italy and they say that they've had 41 new COVID-19 deaths in just 24 hours, which is a shocking amount to hear about in just 24 hours in one day. And this is coming in from Euronews.com and it was reported on Thursday the 5th of March. And now in total, the coronavirus has killed 3,281 and then infected more than 95,000 which is pretty shocking to see how big these numbers are globally over the past couple of months here um, the who director said this is not a drill this is not a time to give up this is not a time for excuses this is a time for pulling out all of the stops and uh, China also reported that there's 143 new cases in the past 24 hours but most of those new cases are outside of China um, the number of newly reported cases in South Korea appears to be declining from the who director so so um, that's good news to hear. They are taking every precaution, but um, still over there in China, the virus is still spreading rapidly. And then France's health ministry announced three new deaths from COVID-19 and said there were 138 fresh infections. The death toll in France is now at seven, and I predict more are going to be popping up as the days go by uh, over there in France and Italy too as well. It's just shocking to see that there's so many new rising infections over the past couple of hours here um, and just all over Europe pretty much so um, very very uh, extreme times for us to really be concerned about but still um, like the WHO director said we've been preparing for this day and also we should not be giving up on fighting the outbreak because it definitely can be managed but we must take every precautious measure and then the article goes on to say that one 73 year old in Ois where there are more than 100 cases of the virus died and another person who is 64 years old died in the department of Ain. So my thoughts and condolences goes out to the family members who lost two of their loved ones today. Um, and hopefully, you know, eventually we can put an end to this epidemic, this virus. The French president does say that um, the epidemic in France was inevitable, which I think everywhere across the world almost is pretty much inevitable to be affected by the virus. Um, and also we do see that trend where older people who have compromised immune systems, or just don't have um, a young healthy body to really fight off the uh, virus they're the ones that are suffering fatalities the most Italy was definitely very unlucky since more people died from the coronavirus in the last 24 hours than any other single country in the world and honestly it's very much so possible that any country in the world could be following the same exact course um, in the United States we have spring break coming up summer is also just around the corner too schools, universities, um, public events. The list goes on and on of places that may start to close down in the next couple of months here and they may just be around your area. Um, in Italy, movies, football games, and again events, so much more is just closing down just to try and contain the spread of the virus. Um, so definitely very, very scary but like the WHO director said again, just to reiterate, it's not a time to just give up fighting just yet. So um, that's what happened today, guys. A little update with the coronavirus over there in Italy. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. If you'd like to see more updates regarding the coronavirus daily, I'd be more than happy to do so because I've been following this extensively over the past couple of months now. So um, I thought why not return it into like a little uh, video series and just update videos every day or something like that. So um, again, if you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like. Thanks for watching. Love you all so much. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.